On this video, this is a bonus training, and I wanted to just show you how quick I was able to generate some articles for a new website I'm building. This is one of the websites I bought off of the GoDaddy auctions. I'll show you what it looks like. It's called History of War Online. So I've got these articles that I'm creating with Zimwriter, and I'm gonna show you how I set this up. So I've got some pillar posts, and I've got some Zimwriter articles. I've got the different wars in here. And in fact, we'll, let's go back to the top. This is a pillar post, the ultimate list of Civil War battles in order. I did this in ScaleNut. It's 11,000 words. It is a lot of content. I will summarize the article by basically taking the summary and the first few paragraphs, I put it into chat and I said, summarize it for me, okay? I took the summary and I put it in 11 labs, and now I have. The Civil War was a devastating time in American history. Paul Harvey reading the Civil War intro for me, okay? So this is a lot of content right here. And I'm going to be doing some internal linking. This is how you do your SEO for internal on your sites, is you gotta have some cross-linking. I have the battles, they are all in order, and Basically, I set it up on ScaleNet, so what was the battle about, the overview, the key events, casualties, and then the strategies employed. This is a very good article. I need to add images. And because it's a pillar post, I'm going to spend some time to get a good image for the Battle of Shiloh. I may use Midjourney. I'm going to do some battle maps, or better yet, my VA is going to be doing this for me. <laughs> I'm inside of WordPress, I can just insert images, okay? Now, here's the thing. I want to take the battles and make individual posts that I can use as backlinks into this, internal backlinks, okay? I went over here to Civil War, and I said, starting with GPT-4, names of the major battles in the Civil War. Please write in English language, okay? They gave me the battles. They're not in order. They gave me a little bit of details about them. And then I come down here, pretend like you're a journalist writing a novel on the Civil War. This is how I change it over for Zimwriter. So I'm getting this content ready for the bulk blog writer in Zimwriter, okay? Give me titles and subtitles for each battle as if it's going into a book. A very good title, Donna Discord, The First Bull Run. And here's the subtitle. Now, I'm going to give all this content to Zimwriter as a title. And the reason is, the more information you give Zimwriter on the bulk blog writer, I found the better the articles are. Okay? So, think in terms of this right here may not be enough information standalone to give to Zimwriter to write a good article. Okay? But I want to bring this in. Single bloodiest day when Maryland's fields ran red. So we have some keywords, bloodiest day, Maryland. You could kind of see where I'm going with all this. Now I get down to this and I want to go ahead and convert it into a format that Zimwriter can read. So I said, convert these titles into this format. I copied the first two and set it up in the format that I'm going to send to Zimwriter. And basically here's the title dash subtitle, okay? In hindsight, I could probably take these off this is probably the way I should have done it. I'm just gonna edit it, take these off, and take the word out. Because I've had to clean it up a little bit, that out, and take that last quote out, okay? And I'll just get rid of that. And hit save and submit. This is gonna be a longer title than I actually am gonna use for my blog post. And that's fine, because I'm gonna edit the text files before I import them. I'll bring up one of the text files here. Here's what it came across as. So I took those titles, ran them through Zimwriter, and this is what it gave me. Vicksburg, the siege that split the Confederacy. That's too long a title. So what I did was I left it as a title. That's the main title right there. And then I come over here and do this, okay? Now you'll see when I start uploading it, why I did this, because this is the subtitle. I'm gonna make it the top of my blog post, okay? This is gonna be the title of the article, and then this is gonna be the subtitle, which is actually gonna be an H2 at the beginning of the article. A Little bit different way of doing it. 
because you have to edit these individual text files before you import them, okay? This looks really good. Basically, you grab this and put it into the bulk blog writer. It will write you some really decent articles with ZimWriter. It's a long title, and you don't want that full long title, but this gives you enough information for ZimWriter to, to really craft a very specific article. Okay, that's the first part. Went to chat, got me some titles, went to ZimWriter, wrote me 10 blogs, and now I went into the notepad and I did a slight edit on the title, prepping them for the import. So now I'm gonna go into AI Masher. Previously, I've gone into Media Mixer. I set up a keyword group called American Civil War, and I'll just edit, show you what I have here. And I asked chat, and I said, give me 100 of the most searched terms for the Civil War. Doesn't have to be exact, so I copied all 100 of these, and I just pasted them right in here, and then it update. So those dropped in here, okay? Then I went in here, and I said, American Civil War. I tried just Civil War, and I was bringing in some Russian terms, because Russia had a Civil War. Chinese had a Civil War. Make sure you define it enough, and then I did that, and I punched all those in, once they're, then I hit update, okay? They're already in there, so I don't need to update again. And then I went over to Keywords Everywhere, just to show you what I've been doing here. Went to American Civil War. Came down here to Keywords Everywhere. Copy. Come back over here. Paste it in there. And then I parsed it. Then I hit Update. And that puts it in this mix. So I've got 114 keywords in here, okay? That's almost too many, but that's fine. That's I'm ready to go. So I've got the keywords done because this is gonna make the EXIF information. Come over here to my media mixer, media packs. You've probably seen this before. I can browse my computer and upload files in here. So I had some files I made on mid-journey. I just copied those over and then I hit upload, okay? But here's the real power. Go and do your search and then you can just type this American Civil War, and I'm gonna use large search, and I don't want that one. I'm gonna selectively go through here. That looks like a game, I don't need that. That's a reenactment. And then I hit add images, okay? Now, I'm gonna change size, hit search again. Get a few different images in here. I'll take that one out. So I'm gonna remove the ones, I'm unchecking the ones I don't want to include. Okay, and then hit add images to pack. Now I've already added these images and now I'm just gonna do a quick scan through here. I've got some maps, some dioramas, some reenactments, and I'm looking for anything blank because I wanna make sure I delete that. Okay, it looks like I've got some good images and of course the videos are real easy. Come over here, videos. Use this one, don't use this one. American Civil War, hit search. Okay, filter through here, the ones you don't want. I don't need German. I don't want any really Russian Civil War. I want to take that out. Civil War in Russia. And you can see there's some Civil Wars in Russia. I want to just eliminate those. Okay, all those look pretty good and add videos to this pack, okay? And you can change things around, American Civil War battles. You can do a bunch of different searches to bring in a different YouTube videos, okay? That is done. I have my media pack ready. I have edited these 10 articles I did that I generated with chat, Civil War major battles, okay? And I started all this with name the major battles. I follow this along, they name the major battles. I've got my titles with subtitles, sent it to ZimWriter through the bulk blog writer. And then I came up with the 10 articles. I did a slight edit on the text, and now here comes the magic. I'm gonna go into Article Publisher, Import Articles, ZimWriter. Group articles together, sure. I wanna put them on History of War Online. Remove the title. I don't want the title to overlap to be the title and put it in the post. This is up to you. You can have the title in the post also. Uh, it's a single article for 
file, because MWriter does a good job with that. I'm going to enhance the articles during input. Okay, I just made my media pack, American Civil War. I'm going to add a featured image. I'm going to add extra images. Now, before I get going here, I'm going to come over here to settings. I'm going to open a new tab on settings, and I'm going to change this every nine paragraphs. It posts your images in there. Come back over here, add a video, of course. Okay, now I'm going to go select those. Come down here to ZimRider Output, and it's these 10 right here. Actually, I think I did more than 10. Yep. That's okay. I'm ready to go. Okay, and that's a World War II. I've got the SEO writer doing my World War II right now. So I'm going to come over here, say open. I'm going to import. Watch what happens down below. They're all enhanced. Okay. 13 articles. I put images and I put videos in there. Okay, they are ready to go. I come over here to Article Publisher, My Articles, and these are ready to go. Let's take a look at one of them. Uh, that's the problem right there, okay? <laughs> so if you remember, I, I said I separated them, and it looks like I, I didn't separate these. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these two. I'm going to just, I, I'll redo them later. And come down here and I'm going to delete, okay? Because it, it had the subtitle and the title, and all I want is the title. So let's take a look at this one. I'm gonna hit edit, so we know what we're looking at here. Edit, this looks really nice, okay? This is a reenactment, the final Confederate stand, a union defeat under summer skies. This is about the Battle of Cold Harbor. Key takeaways, context, here's the key players. There's about Grant, about Lee, and about the battle of the overview and timeline. This looks really nice. Now I'll make my final edits in WordPress if I need to. You can do a lot of the editing in here. If you've got Grammarly attached, you can actually edit with Grammarly inside of here. So I'll just show you a little bit of how you can edit inside of here. Real easy to do. And I'll edit it later. I just want to show you, this is what it looks like, okay? I can add more media if I wanted to. I would just go American Civil War, and I can add a new featured image, extra images, add a video. If you're going to add a new featured image, it just adds it to the top. You'll have to still delete the one that's in there. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to hit Update, Finish, back to my table. Now, I, I should have 10 of these that are, they have images, they're really well-written articles, they have the title, and the subtitle is at the top of the post. Now, I'm going to post them all at the same time so we can see this during this video. I'm going to go WordPress and a little history of War Online and Civil War, okay? You can send them to draft. we got some guys sending them to draft, and then they'll edit them before they publish them. It's a good idea. If you've got a hundred of them, don't send them all right now. What I'll do is I will send some of them about every uh, five minutes to an hour, especially if you're doing pages. If you've got a lot of them, send them about every three to eight hours. Make it look like a human did this, okay? These 10, I'm gonna send all right now just for this video. Hit post and you'll see articles set to post. Okay. Now, I'm going to pause the video, and we'll see these in just a few minutes. Okay, we're done. We got the 10 posts in the History of War Online. They look pretty good. This is all 10 battles in here. Look really nice. And I'm going to bring up one of these so you can kind of see what they look like on the inside. So this is the format for the blog post. Very good. In fact, this is a good reenactment. Key takeaways, the battleground. There's some images or battle plans. This looks really nice. Even has a table in here and lessons learned, frequently asked questions, and a conclusion. And a video at the end. And then I've got a related post uh, plug-in that goes in there. Very nice. These are really good articles. And if you want to take a look at it, just go to historyofwaronline.com.
and you can take a look at all these posts that we just made from the ZimRider to AI Masher on into the uh, website itself. Hopefully you've kind of seen a good workflow of how you can create, starting here with the Civil War battles. With ChatGPT, I got my titles, went to ZimRider, created the articles, and then I pushed them into AI Masher, and then we pushed them into a site, and within 15 minutes, we're done. We've got 10 new articles. This could be 20, this could be 100, it could be however many you want to put in there. Very easy to do, just have you a good workflow established. I'll see you on another video.